Hey, how you doing? You don't know what to anticipate. You hear a lot of rumors. What you bring to the table is some degree of skepticism. I think the biggest fear was that somebody was going to lose their job because they were doing this. By the end of the week, they really do bond and see that we are given the ability to help make a difference. theme for continuous improvement is every child every time and that really speaks about the journey that we're on in our pursuit of perfection. Every child every time means that every child every time deserves zero defect in the care that they receive and optimal service. Not 98% of the time, not 99% of the time, 100% of the time. Can Mr. Froggy listen to you this morning? No. Continuous improvement first arose in manufacturing. And so, gosh, if you're making widgets, can that really apply to healthcare, taking care of people? The most complex industry there is. The Toyota production system is about continuous improvement and measure how well they're doing by their quality and service and safety, as do we. And so there is a lot of similarity. Uh, their focus is on removing waste from processes. And when you think about healthcare, we have a lot of processes and flows. We have patients that flow through our system. We have supplies that flow through our system. We have pharmaceuticals. We have information flows. And so there's lots of opportunity there for us to continuously look at how to eliminate waste from all of those flows, which is very similar to what the Toyota production system is about. I think it was very important to find where these principles had been put into actual use in a healthcare setting, and even more importantly, a healthcare setting for children. And so Nobody I think at the uh, Leadership Development okay. Institute, when this idea was introduced, we had folks who had done the work and had done it for more than a decade at Seattle Children's. So I'm gonna to talk to you, one, about what Seattle Children's is. And the, the successes, the improvements, uh, the removal of waste uh, that the presenters identified, I think, um, I really brought a lot of people on board to say, yeah, we can do this. Not only can we do this, we should do this. Continuous improvement was uh, important for Seattle Children's for a number of different reasons. One was we had safety um, events. We also had capacity issues. So we occasionally were having to defer patients to other institutions. So we needed with, in our own physical plant to be able to service more patients and to do it wisely and safely. We also had service deficiencies where um, referring physicians would find it very challenging getting access to our clinics and our providers for their patients. Continuous improvement was an absolute requirement and mandatory element in our pursuit of becoming a best children's hospital and certainly energized me and many others in the hospital um, to continue our efforts at providing the best possible health care we can. And they have very clearly shown that one can improve quality and safety, improve access, and reduce cost uh, using the tools principles, but more importantly, living the philosophy of continuous improvement. We actually started our rollout of continuous improvement in very focused areas. We've had some projects in the Delaware Valley, we've had some projects in the Jacksonville Clinic, as well as in Orlando. When we talk about continuous improvement, we actually have several tools at our disposal, and some of the more common ones and some of the ones we've actually already started using at Nemours include the five S's, sort, simplify, sweet, standardize, and sustain, which is a way to really organize the workplace. You get the people in that work area to participate in the event. Well, you get them engaged in the process, and basically what it is is sorting out all of their materials and supplies, trying to identify which ones they really need and which ones they don't. So the things that are commonly used are in, within easy reach, and those things that aren't used as frequently may be up higher trying to simplify the process with some type of logic behind it.
and RPI stands for Rapid Process Improvement. Our RPIs are five-day events engaging the people in the work area. They choose a particular area of their process where they know they have a lot of waste and have opportunity for improvement. Then within that five-day event, it's rapid improvement. So that's something clearly I don't see any reason why a surgeon can't be a little bit more specific. So if you look at Surgeon Net's schedule, it looks like you're ending at such and such a time. They tell me that this child is already scheduled. But central scheduling, that whole problem should go away. So people create ideas for change. They actually implement them sometimes that evening. They see how it's working the next day. They continue to make changes throughout the course of the five days. Then they create standard work so that the changes that they've made are actually sustainable after the event. And so there's a whole management system and process of follow-up to ensure that what we've done sticks as well as that there's opportunity to continually improve that process and get ideas about how to make ongoing change. You put everything into it. You've been open-minded, and I am so proud of you. <laughs> the value stream mapping is, say, a patient coming to the operating room for procedure. It is the process from the time it's identified that a child needs surgery through the scheduling. You look at that entire flow and you identify opportunities for improvement across that flow. And you can pick one area, say the scheduling process or the checkout process. When you do a value stream mapping, it's looking at the entire process. The model line is sort of like um, the first time you do a value stream and you create it so that others come in and can look at it and it serves as your model. One of the things that I think is really powerful about uh, continuous improvement is the frontline worker, if you will, the worker that's interfacing every day with the patient has the opportunity to participate in not only the care process, but improving that care process and making us better. For an associate who's been, uh, in, is about to get involved with a continuous improvement activity, just realize it is very different. Uh, it's, it's different than anything we've done at Nemours in the past. Having gone through the course myself for five solid days, which was at times painful. It, it's a very intense week, so you have to kind of be prepared for that mentally. It really is for the greater good at the end of the day. You just have to, you have to keep pushing through it. <laughs> You know, you really need to think that this is your time to improve your process, what you do day to day, and keep a real open mind and positive attitude about it, and it'll probably change for the better. Our True North is from the voice of the parents and the children. Help me receive exactly the care I need and want, how and when I need and want it. And so every time we do a continuous improvement event, whether it's a rapid process improvement or whatever, we will have specific measures for that event that align with our true north. And so everything we do is with that patient family focus. What convinced me about continuous improvement being a good fit for Nemours is that it really is about the patient and the family and looking at it from their perspective, designing our processes, whether it's coming in for an appointment, whether it's scheduling you for an operation, making it fit for the patient and the family. There's a tremendous amount of excitement around our continuous improvement effort, taking us from a great level of quality and safety to an even higher level of quality and safety for our patients and families, and how it will change the patient experience, but also how it changes the experience of our associates, how what they do and uh, their work and really supporting their work every day. And so I'm very excited about that. Continuous improvement at Nemours I think is an absolute necessity if we are going to provide the services that we would like to provide. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of change, it's a lot of development. But the only way that we can move forward to be more efficient and provide the services that we need to provide and to make the quality of our life at the same time as best as it possibly can be it needs participation from everybody. I feel for once, you know, it's not just a bunch of talk. That action's actually coming behind it. You have to do something different in order to really make a change and continuous improvement does that. It, it's really effective. It comes from outside of healthcare and we're able to really um, make it have an impact. The best part for me is just seeing how excited the associates have been about it. 
it's heartwarming to see and that level of engagement is really what's going to help us achieve our true north.